Hey, how you doing? And welcome to Free Flick, the build-up show, if you like, for the Fistiff Elan Cables World Cup, where we're going to be interviewing people, building up to the tournament, seeing what people's thoughts are going into it, and generally just trying to get in the heads of some of the players and who is heading to Tunbridge Wells. It's a collaboration between myself, the Beauty o Collector, and the Elan Cables Fistiff World Cup, so you'll see this on my YouTube show, and you'll see it on the social channels of the Fistiff World Cup as well. And real quick, before we get into our first interview, I need to tell you that you can come and watch the World Cup in Tunbridge Wells, the home of Beauty o. Entry is free. It's the 21st and 22nd of September, a Saturday, Sunday, a weekend. You can come to the Tunbridge Royal Sports Centre and watch it. And there is loads of other fringe events going on around it as well. Honestly, it's going to be a fantastic weekend of Subutio. Head over to the websites and all the social feeds for all the details in that. If you're watching on YouTube, links down in the description. But right now, let's go and chat to one of England's hopefuls, Elliot. Elliot, man, how you doing? <laughs> mate, how are you? Hey, I'm all right. I'm really well. You look really well, by the way, at the moment. You're looking Cheers, healthy. Man. I need to say it to you. I, I need to try. I need to try. You know, big, big competition coming up. Is that uh, right? no, it's more just the personal health and just hitting the gym a lot more. Oh, um, man, honestly, you do. You look so well. It's good to see. So you're late on this because where have you been? You've been training. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I was I went training. Uh, I was went down to Kent. They had the under twelves and the ladies training down oh, okay. there. Um, so I thought I'd just go down and help out a bit. How are they looking? Also, yeah, good. Um, I'm actually quite surprised that some of them actually impressed me. Uh, okay, I Who? think they could Who's become out? name them. Name them. It's encouraging. Uh, I can't name names. That's no, nah, that puts pressure. No nah. pressure oh, on people. Thanks. Okay. Uh, I don't want to be having favourites, you know. <laughs> uh, but they're looking good down there, yeah? They're training well. Yeah. Training well. I think they're doing it a few more times. Um, but yeah, it's, they're getting there. I think could be quite exciting this year. So are you looking forward to the World Cup? Yeah, big time. Um, putting at least two days a week of training in with barring partners. Uh, a bit, of, a bit of solo practice. Uh, Sam Curtis most of the time. Okay. Uh, got Darren coming around this week. Uh, cool. and got. I'll probably pay Bob quite a lot before as well. So you've got head of team coming around, Bob. Uh, Darren coming around. Yeah, checking out. Uh, yeah, exactly. Make sure I'm doing the right things. I guess. Yeah, that's it. So, what are you playing yeah. in the World Cup? You're playing in the individual, right? Individual and team. Yeah. So. Big expectations. Yeah. So, what is the expectation? What, where, where, what's the expectation from? We'll start with you. What's your expectation on yourself? The thing is, every tournament you go into, you've got to try and push yourself and go. Oh, I'm only playing it because I want to win. But also, I'm realistic in the fact that we've got massive players from all around the world coming and people win big majors and stuff like that already. Sorry, one second, the dog's just decided to walk in on me. Um, so I'm not going to say I want to get to a certain point because you could have the toughest group in the world and get knocked out in a group or you might get the easiest run and get to a semi-final and final. This um, is what I know. If I, two years ago, if I'd have spoke to you, you'd be like, yeah, I'm going to win it. Yeah. Who's yeah, this, and that, now this, this is an imposter. This ain't you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a managing expectations. <laughs> uh, considering the, I think the last one I got to last thirty two or last sixteen, and yeah. then was knocked out. So run, anything right? I'm progressing on that, I'd say is good. So this is your but, fourth World Cup. I've uh, played, but oh. only for Open. It's my second playing in the Open. Yeah, everything else was youth level when I played nearly every year um, because it was used to be every year, not every two years. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, I played multiple times. The best I think I got in youth level was semi finals. Okay. So that was a big thing. Um, I would love to say I'm going to go there and win it. Obviously, with without Carlos Flores there, it's doable for anyone. Yeah, um, but I've got to be on top of my game and be consistent with it. So you said you're training two days a week. What's what's the training routine? What are you doing? At the moment, for when I've got someone round, it's just matches, continuous. Yesterday at the Masters, I kind of didn't do as well as I wanted to. I wanted to come back with a win. So um, how did you get on at the Masters yesterday? Because Chris Thomas won it. 
Yeah, I, pl- I played Chris in the group. Um, group stage, he beat me 2-1. And that was one of the games where he scored the last 10 seconds and kind of just edged a win. It was a very good game okay. of it, though. Uh, then uh, Justin Finch in the semi-final. Oh, okay. uh, I think he'd agree. I kind of bossed the match, but it was 1-0 until... 20 seconds to go and I accidentally kicked the ball out for a throw in and he went and scored from it. You know what? I've got a question about last seconds of the game at the end of this. Yeah. Um, we'll see what you answer it now. So, <laughs> so Masters didn't go to plan, but what's the training? So you're playing Bob a couple of times a week. Are you doing drills yeah, so on your own? Shooting drills are probably the best thing I could do on my own. Um, I do have different practice routines that multiple people have sent me and I try to do uh, if I do a bit of solo practice, I'll do an hour or so on my own. I don't want to, I say bore myself, but at a point you do. I know what you it's, mean. You can put some music on in the background or whatever you want to do to get you in the zone a bit. But after an hour of touching up to a ball, it's yeah, the yeah. repetitiveness. But yeah. it's also something you need to do because you need to get your touch right for everything. And it's the only way you're going to improve as a player, especially at like, top level. Um, so what are you playing little... at the moment? Are you playing on Extreme Works pitch? Playing on the World Cup pitch. Playing on the World and, Cup pitch, nice. Yeah. After the World Cup, I'll change straight to my uh, Theory B pitch that I've got to train on, which will be a lot slower, so it'll be a lot different. But... Oh, okay, why, why the change? Uh, in Italy, so for the league, it's on... Of course, yeah, you've uh, transferred, haven't you? Yeah, big money transfers happen, so... <laughs> I thought it was Dairy. Keep hearing about Derry. Ah, uh, yeah, Derry have got me on Wasp deal. They One used time with five pints and uh, a free shirt. So I thought, why not for Wasp? It's a good sign on field. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I, I need anything for a sign on field. Take it. So, what pitches are they playing on in Italy then? Uh, the Astro Base, oh, okay. one, but it's uh, quite a slow Astro Base pitch, and especially with the humidity over there and stuff, it affects it a lot. So um, that so, gives us a bit of an well, advantage, um, I'm guessing, over the Italians. Well, you, you say that they that's only on uh, one level of this theory B, but they're used to playing on any pitch anyway, and I, I don't see much advantage coming from it, considering their players will slide even more, which <laughs> would probably yeah, benefit yeah, yeah, because it, it, yeah, okay. it makes it a lot easier for them. So straight, so extreme works at the moment, and then after the World Cup, straight back to that. Yeah, so, so that yeah, slight break. I've got, I've got to ask. So what happened with Elsto? Why the transfer all of a sudden? Why um, Elsto? It was a super team that you put together. If we've had a season out of it, will we see it again? Why did it fold? Tell everyone. I, I'd, I'd love to see it again. Um, I think there was a few big factors. Uh, unfortunately, Chris Thomas has got injured, and not sure how many, many tournaments he'll be able to do next season. Okay. Um, so with his back injury, you don't you can't really count on saying to him, "Oh, look, we might need you for a tournament or two here," because he could be fine leading up to it, and then a couple of days before, if he's in pain, okay, we can't really have him play him. Um, losing the two half brothers was hard for us as well. Oh, so they uh, they go before the team stopped as such. Yeah, so for me, I had my offer there before. I originally said to him, look, if I can keep my team together and we'll play next season, I will be staying with them. Um, as soon as that kind of changed to knowing there might be a bit of a um, issue with the, with the team, with the Hass brothers going, yeah. I started having discussions with them as well about um, what the plans would be for next season, signing for them and uh, things like that. Obviously, we had other top players like Chris Short, Matt Lampitt, um, even Chris Bedford at the moment, he's improved yeah, so much wow. this season. Um, but I think Short, he wants to play a bit more this season. Matt, uh, he would admit he's good for two two tournaments probably a year where he can put all his effort in, but the rest of the time he's either got work or he's got to deal with his kids. So n- normal life always yeah, comes ahead. It gets in the way, doesn't it? Yeah, so... I'd love to see it again. I can't say definite. In some sense, it will always come back. There's always a team, whether it's Elsto, Glides, when San Siro had a team. 
Yeah, he's got like EPL. It all of the players do end up playing together again eventually. It's yeah. just a matter of when, not it'll if. Come. It'll come. Yeah, it'll definitely come. All right, so let's get now into the nitty gritty. Now, second World Cup. How long have you been playing to be all together? <laughs> oh, sorry, dog, dogs are kicking off now. Someone's oh, at the front door. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, How now it's been, been twenty years. Twenty years. So seven, I think seven years old. I got started into it, and I'm twenty-seven yeah. now. So it's twenty years, which is ridiculous to think about. Um, it's just been an emotional roller coaster. Let's say. So it's, uh, twenty years you've been playing. <laughs> you was at the World Cup in 2012. Up in Manchester? 2012, yeah, Manchester. I was think I was under 15s at that time, so yeah. So it's back home in England. Does it make a difference playing in Tunbridge Wells, the home of Sabutio, or is it just another tournament in England? For me, it's... Well, there, there's a bit of it which it makes it a bit special, being the home where it's like, made and everything yeah. like that. Um, but I also don't have the full nostalgic side to it of when it was on early paces and Could the way have... that Sabutio was made, yeah, basically. Because um, I do see Sabutio being slightly different to how Fistiv's played. Yep. Um, because there's different rules, different paces. It's like an adaptation of the game. Evolu- evolution. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so one side of me is like, it's a tournament in England, so Perfect. I don't have to worry about the time difference and things <laughs> like yeah, all things oops. like that. Because oops. even when you go abroad, you've got you've missed missing an hour of sleep basically. Yeah, like you'll travel and be like, oh, my body's thinking it's only what would it be? If it be like my body thinks it's ten o'clock, but it's actually eleven. I've got to be up in yeah. a few it's hours. Late in the, it's late in the day on the Saturday as well, doesn't it? You miss that's where you're missing it going into the team. Yeah, exactly. So it's it's kind of. Um, a nice, nice little advantage, I'd say, in in that sense. Okay. Um, I think yeah, it's special. I think for a lot of people, it's special because of it being from the area and everything like that. Yeah. Uh, but I think that for me, it's seen as another World Cup, another chance to try and prove myself at a high level. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I don't want really, the. I don't feel like the occasion is going to overwhelm. Me thinking it's that's the World not, Cup. That's not a bad world. thing because that keeps your composure, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's not like there's any extra pressure or anything. It's just another tournament. So, how do you think overall England can go? Can we win it in the individual? Can we win the team? All the other categories. What do you reckon? What's our chances? So, I'll start with the Open. You've got me, Casper, and Chris Short. Casper's probably the only English player that's got that far. Like, I think he got semi-final or final before. Yeah, I've heard that. Um, so you know that he can get to them high levels and he's back playing and it doesn't take him long to realise what he's got to do again. Yeah. Short, Shorty, another player who played at top levels around Europe already. Like, his, his shooting seems to be phenomenal. The amount of height he can get on the ball when he's taking a shot, you're worried about where you're positioning the goalkeeper. Uh, and then you've got me, who's younger, quicker. That's kind of what I've got to play to my own strengths. Um, these other players are more uh, solid, I'd say, and have more defence qualities. I'm more attacking, but it could it could come home. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. What about the team? Who's in the team? Uh, individual team, uh, open team, sorry. We've got me, Casper. Shorty, Chris Thomas, Matt Lampitt, and who am I missing? Oh no, he's forgotten his team. Kev Cordell. Kev Cordell. Um, left someone out. Group the group is going to go crazy when they see this. <laughs> Can you imagine if I've got it wrong as well? That could have be been even worse. Oh, I'm atrocious. Uh, <laughs> Kicked out. I'm brave for you. You've got it oh, right. Can you imagine? I've, I've, I've ruined squad morale already. Um, <laughs> So and the then team, they, how do we win the team? I, I've looked at other teams. There's there's no weak teams there. Um, we've got to make sure that we're on top of our game to even get through 
but sometimes even get through the group because yeah. you could have such a tough group. Um, we experienced that when we played Italy in uh, was it European Championships last year? Like we ran them close in a game, and yes. unfortunately we knocked out in the end. But they, I think they went on to win it, and um, can't fault losing to the winners. No, exactly, and I think it was a two-one loss overall or something like that. So it was very close. It weren't um, anything where we could say, "Well, we just got battered." And but what you're saying is, we can win it. win it. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, <laughs> here we go. There's a yes. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> here we go. It's coming what about, home. What about, uh, the vet? what about the vets? Vet, vets. Once again, you've got another strong team. You've got Darren Clark, Justin Finch, Bob Barney. I think Skinner's playing. Mm. I don't actually know the Betts team that well because I haven't had a look. But okay. even with them four, you you can win on each pitch. And yeah. I, th- I think we're lucky because this year, with it being in England, you can get every player who, playing who should be in the squad. You've got the top players in England actually showing up and playing instead of us having to worry about who can travel. Mm-hmm. Massive yes, um, difference. We've seen that with yeah. other nations, I think, as well, in some of the names. Yeah, Tom. exactly. Like you look at Spain, they haven't been able to bring Flores, they haven't brought yeah. over Valverde. They're... Massive news. Exactly. There's a load of players like Gonzalez. I don't think he's coming over. The Spanish team, because of who can travel, is, I'd say, depleted quite a lot. And I don't think they would disagree. Is Losing someone like Carlos is, is massive. Brainer, isn't it? Um, basically, you're a person who guarantees the win every game he plays. So. Um, yeah, look, I think every category that we have has a chance. Okay, I'm holding it's, you to that. It, it will take a lot, and it needs a lot of hard practice. And now, if you, if whoever is listening, uh, and if you're in the squad, if you're just starting now, it's not good enough, and we probably won't push to win. Like I know people say, you only need a couple of weeks to get ready, but. It's the preparation these other teams are doing. You know that they're playing every day. I think everyone's in training. Yeah, exactly. Everyone's so, in training. I mean, I know we've we've even got um, young Max who plays down at Chasers. He's playing in the un, in one of the unders. He's coming down to us. Uh, and he doesn't travel around. And I didn't want to say anything about uh, favourites, but I was impressed with him today. He's a good little player, and he come down to us a couple good of weeks player. ago. Yeah, good player. Um, but yeah, I think. As long as people are practicing, but we put all our effort oh. in, oh, there's good. still possibilities. Who's our rival? I always wonder this like, because taking the football, Germany, you always think, "Oh, we got to do yeah. Germany because it's football." Is it the same in this? Yeah. And I'm going to ask, say, I'm going to ask so. every nation this as well. So I've got um, Eric from France coming on. Oh yeah, I'm going to ask him exactly the same question: Who's your rival? Who's he? That's who's the thing, Derby. We've, we've got to go for Wales or Scotland, I think. Yeah, surely. Okay. I'm going to say Wales because my dad's playing for him. Is he? What, in the yeah, Open or in the... Yeah, but he's in the best, but ah, I'm hey, still going to say it anyway. He's yeah, bald. he didn't want to play me. He was, he was too scared. <laughs> um, I'd say quality-wise, who could we say? Because everyone's that's going got really good squads. Yeah. But... Who's the favourite? Yeah. Favourite to win it? Do you think Italy are always favourites? I'd say on yeah. most most of them. Um, I'm going to go for a bit of a out one. Okay, who I think might win it? I'm going to go Greece. Okay, that's that's the prediction. Okay, uh, I don't think I don't think they're favourites, but I think but they could. There's someone to watch. Yeah, I'd say there's someone to watch. I think. What about player wise in the individual? Colangelo, probably. Where's you look from? at him. Italy. From Italy. Yeah, Colangelo. Player to I'd, watch I'd, in the I'd individual, love... outside chance. Outside chance. Me, no, I'm joking. Yeah, no, that's it. If you want to... hey, that's the Italy nah. I know. Yeah. Um I don't know. There's so many good players playing and it was, it's not like names that you'd go, oh, I couldn't see them winning. It could be anyone. I'd love Christoph Gier to win it because I think he's a brilliant guy. Um, I played him in the final in the Europa League and it was 3-3. Free free. But I think, yeah, lovely guy and he's a fair player. I'd love him to get his hands on the title. 
Okay. If it's not me. It's not you. We <laughs> want it to be me. you. We want it to be someone English. And I'll change that. Yeah. I speak to the fringe. I'll say I want it to be them just because I'm going to suck up to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> just so they treat me nice for the weekend. But look, yeah. Elliot, I'm going to keep you much longer. Uh, I've got, just before we do go, I've got some quick fire questions for you. All okay, right? mate. No, no, worries. no thinking. I just want the first, first answer that comes into your head. All right. But let's go. Okay. Favourite opponent to play? Chris Thomas. Player that you want to avoid the most? <laughs> no one. I'm not scared of no one. Ooh. Biggest fist if win ever? Remember it? My win. What What do you mean by biggest fist of win? Like, like biggest, biggest, wise, biggest, or? Yes. So, your, no, or your biggest scoreline that you've won a game by in fist if? If it counts... And the twelves when I played my mate and I won thirty six nil. Wow! All right, calm down. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> it, it was brand new as well, but it's what my best you're, mate at the time. You're going to get uh, hated by some people for saying that. Ah, it's, it's fun. <laughs> I love it. Right, no biggest loss. Ah, oh, I got banged loads of times as a kid. Um, recently, it was eight one to Claudio Latour. Okay, most memorable win. Uh, I'm gonna say, let's go with my most recent win at Derry against Wolfgang Ass in the final. Okay, funniest moment. Oh, there's so many. Ah, uh, funniest. Any time that any time that Chris Thomas is drunk and throwing <laughs> things around, or ah, uh, in Mallorca when he got too drunk and tried to break into a kebab shop. Brilliant. That do it's Chris it. Thomas. Why, why would you ever think that he would break into a kebab shop? You know, you'd never think that. <laughs> and I bet he's going to hate you now for saying that. Yeah. Like, what would you rather? Would you rather have a last second winner or would you rather win it on shots? Uh, I still had a question winner. about last minute winners, didn't I? La- last second winner uh, yeah. instead of shots because you don't have to go through that extra time and then do the yeah. shots for it. Okay. Last second winner, you can just be like, yeah, done, thank you. Would you prefer a team event or individual? Team event every day. Controversial question. Sports table football or Subutio? What's it called? Uh, it's what it what my game is called. Oh, what do you oh, like, yeah, what do you think it's called? So for fifth, I'll still call it Subutio. If I'm I'll be like, do you want to play Subutio? All right, last one. Would you rather win the individual and the team crash out in the team? Or would you rather lose the individual? But the team win it. And you missed playing oh, in the final. I missed playing in the final. Yeah. Team. Team? Team. As much as I would love to win the individual, it's like I said, team feeling. I don't care if I'm on that bench, I'll be the loudest one there yeah, yeah. cheering the team during that game. And yeah, I'll be celebrating as much as everyone else anyway. I'm John Terry. I'll be going out <laughs> in my full kit. Full kit, all come off. Yeah. Everything. I'll, I'll buy a pair of football socks, throw them on. <laughs> pair yeah, of well. team. Put your Monday owls on. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Elliot, man. Thank you so Oof. much for coming on. I know you're busy. I know I had to jump off last week as well where we couldn't get it done. So thank you for coming on, being the first guest on the yeah, show. Right. You're the one to follow now. Everyone's got to answer the questions like you. You've been absolutely Oof. great. It is I coming enjoy it. You are going to win it. Someone in England's going to win it. We need to bring your arrogance out because that's the side I like. Yeah, it'll come out for the the games. Don't worry about that. (laughs) I'm sure I'll see you before, but if I don't, I'll see you in Tunbridge Wells. Good luck. Lovely. Thank you so much for coming on. Pleasure, man. Lovely. I'll see you soon. See you later. Later, Cheers, mate. Bye-bye.